Hey welcome to another video. So there is a new NM game. You guys have probably already seen this game before, but it has recently blown up. If you have not played it, before I suggest you try it out. I have these characters. Broly and Pain was evolved, but Whitebird and Tanjiro I got from summons. Funny thing is, I put on this Luffy outfit, and I open a summon, I get Tanjiro then the next summon I did few hours later I got Whitebeard. If you want this luck, make sure to like the video, and you may get a mega rare in your summons. Bulma is also very good too, she gives cash every round, maximum upgraded Bulma will give you 1.4k per round. I have 350 gems, let's check the store to see if there is anything good. Nope, nothing too good killer god speed is actually quite bad in this game, you think he would be fast, because he is in his god speed form, but he attacks every 5 seconds which is slow and his damage is not too high. I will wait for the next restock in the store then do some summons, and we can then hop into a game of infinite with an overpowered combo, to see what round we get to. Enjoy. The shop has reset, let's see if there are anything good we can spin for. Nice, Zenitsu is very good in this game, he has high damage, and also he attacks every 1.5 seconds which is very fast. Also if I remember correct he also does AoE, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But let's try spin for him. No luck so far. We got nothing, but just for the video I will buy 50 gems to spin once more. Well that was a bad choice. I normally don't spend much robux on games, but this game is very addicting. As you can see here, I have bought a lot of robux in this game for gems. I'm not sure about the exact number, but I think it is over 2.5k robux. It may not seem a lot, but it is a lot for me. And no, I'm not proud of my choice. Now I'm going to hop into a game of infinite with my friends. We are going to only use White Beard and Aaron. Let's see how it goes, and what round we get up to. Let's go. Okay, so me and Skull will fill the whole spawn with White Beards, and Rastic will spam Aaron's at the back. Let's see how this goes. So I have upgraded my white beard a little bit at the front, so I place Bulmus, this is what I normally do, and it goes well. You don't really need much, 2 or 3 maximum Bulmus will be all you need, you can easily maximum your units which is why Bulmer is S tier. This NPC got past the white beards, but don't worry, Eren will be at the back to support, this is why he is so good. Nothing to worry about, once we get the Bulmus fully upgraded then we can start to spam white beards. There, finally upgraded the 3 Bulmus, now we can spam white beards. Imagine trying to raid a place, and you see an army of white beards and titans at the back, you can't tell me you won't be scared, because I know I would be.
Pay attention to my money. When I go to the next wave, look at that three bombers gave us that much cash. Now we can spam more white beards. Big brain plays. Look at that. They can't get past the spawn. This shows how overpowered Whitebeard spam is. I can't wait for them to add more characters like Satama and Jojo characters with stands, such as Star Platinum and the world. This is going to go on for a while. Fully upgraded white beards are simply too OP. I have not gotten the chance to try out Toga. I heard she is a good character, but I barely see her in the store. The NPC have not gotten any further than this point in a while. I'm going to speed the clip up until we get to a stage we are struggling at. We are at round 28 now, and the NPC are starting to get past the first bit. Colossal Titans are saving us, this is why they are also top tier characters. I don't know the world record for 3 man infinite, but I think we are doing okay. At this point the NPC have over 8k health, and we cannot put down any more units, so we are going to lose. Maybe if we could put more units down then we have more of a chance, but they are starting to survive against even the titans. I think this is it, look how they go through colossal titans, like they are nothing. I think we did pretty good, maybe if we have another player with Toga in the middle for the damage, then we might have survived longer, but I really think they should allow us to place down more units as the round gets higher. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, I will see you next time.